life lately has been super hard. Every time I open up my phone, I'm comparing myself to someone who has completely different life experiences than me, was raised completely different than me, had a whole set of different privileges or disadvantages than me, and yet I managed to measure myself up against them. Seems like some people are even better at being depressed than me. Or at least more cinematic about it. I finally stepped into my courage to be seen online, but it's come with some negative consequences. Like constantly wondering who am I doing this for? And realizing that YouTube is just yet another app to measure my self-worth on. To refresh and check for comments. To get the reassurance from others that I'm not a bad person. That I'm doing alright. That it's going to be okay. That I'm going to be okay. On days like this, there's really only one thing I can do. And that's to get dressed. I start by showering. Maybe it's my attention deficit disorder, but I feel like showering marks the invisible line between doing something with my day and going back to bed. I brush my teeth too, but mostly just because I don't want them to fall out. I get zero joy from this activity. Next up is what to wear. Since my wardrobe pretty much consists of black, white, gray, and more gray, my decision is usually pretty easy. Today I'm going with my favorite rib t-shirt from Target, and no, this is not an ad, but maybe it could be if they want to pay me? I sometimes feel like I'm Spongebob Squarepants every day because all I do is wear a different pair of the same soccer shorts. But why fix it if it ain't broke, you know? And like every great queer that came before me, I have a great gold chain. Last but not least, while I wait for my hair to grow out to a length that doesn't make me look like Zac Efron and Bo Burnham had a glorious gay baby, I put on my headband. It can be hard for anything human to thrive in this incessant cesspool that is the internet where nothing is truly original, everybody has an opinion, and the people choosing to expose themselves, their lives, and their thoughts on this platform can get rewarded or torn down in an instant by a couple of taps on a screen. So this one is for the brave ones, the ones rising from the ashes, the ones who are picking themselves back up today, the ones dusting off what everyone else thinks of you. This one's for you. And if all you did today was get dressed, let that be enough. Please know that it's enough. Savvy Sav, you just frightened my day. Hey everyone, we just wanted to get on here in response to Sav's video this morning and say that we were very inspired by them. Your views have been going up, you've been getting more engagement and positive feedback, and I'm just like fucking here for that. The reason I make art is because I can and I can't not. <laughs> Things take time, for sure. I, so many times in my life, I have like gotten so hot on an idea, so hot on a project, and like I'm gonna do this, and then I put it out there, and when it doesn't like you know make me Oprah famous within one week, I get very dejected and quit. And so I just I understand how hard it can be. We don't have to let other people's beliefs become our beliefs. We do not have to let circumstances dictate where we're going. It feels critical for me. It's the way that I feel most able to process, understand, fully experience, heal, celebrate life. Just the fact that you're turning those poisons and those momentary defeats that can feel really heavy and really sticky given your past experiences with that, um, and the fact that you were able to take back, call back your power, still show up for yourself, and then continue to take actionable.
but you can get the fuck back up and keep going after your dreams and the person that you know you are in your heart. Why I release art is for the same reason, because I can and I can't not. The value of this art and the value of my experience of this art is no longer contingent upon how it's received. It's not that I don't love it when people love it. It's not that it's not hard when people don't. But when it gets to that place that I know it's no longer contingent upon how they receive it, that's when I know it's ready to be released.